It took Mattel only one year to release all of the Sweet Tea Band cars, and they only re and they released them all in one year. Anyway, guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Rich Hurry from Sweet Tea's Band from the Cotter Pin. So let's get into it. So I guess we're gonna start off with like the like like the boom box and then we'll move over to the slide guitar and then the actual die cast in general. So we're gonna start off with the boom box here. Now the boom box is a, is just a little bit is is a little different than Robert Jam Jam's boom box here because it's a little bit smaller than than Robert Jam Jones's, which is kind of interesting to me. I don't even I don't know why they made this change, but I mean it's it's an interesting change that they made with uh, Rich Hurry's boombox. I I felt like it could have been the, they could have just reused Robert Jones' boombox, but no, they actually used um, a different mop mold for the boombox, which is kind of interesting to me. So yeah, that's about it for the boombox. I mean, you also got the buttons there, the speaker, these little corners with like the silver lining. Nothing's on the back, and then the sides and the top. There's like a little um little handle up there. And then on the sides, nothing much. There's these little connectors, I guess. So, yeah. Now, let's move on to the slide guitar here. Now, the slide guitar is pretty durable, too, as as well as the boombox. I mean, it's it's probably made of plastic, but, I mean, it's pretty durable plastic. It doesn't bend at all. So, it has the four legs here, and then there's the base with, like, the screws that they made with it. Because it's two separate pieces. Actually, six separate pieces if you count the legs here. And there's this guitar. You got, like, the strings over here. You got the neck of the guitar. And then pretty much the same over on this side. Um, and then you got these little two buttons here. I don't know what they do, but that's pretty cool. So, yeah. And then here's Rich Hurry himself. This is probably my favorite um, uh, car pin basis because I legit love the expression. He looks super chill. <laughs> I gotta say, he is pretty chill. Look at him. I mean, with the brown eyes, it just makes him look good. And his forklips are actually moved in a little bit of a different, like, position than normal. Like, um, let's take a pity here for, ex or another random pity, for example, like, uh, this one. His forklifts are, like, um, in the, no in the normal, typical standard forklift. And Pam Wheeldarrows are actually lifted up. And this guy's also lifted up, but not as lifted up as Pam Wheeldarrows. And they're also kind of moving to the side. And this little forklift here is, like, tilted, kind of. This one's a little bit tilted, too. But mm, it's a really nice detail. Good job, Mattel. You actually did something really cool. As of everything else, there's not much. I mean, you got the... Um, it's mint green, which I love the color. It looks great on him. And the hat is brown, which looks also pretty good. Um, and, uh, there's the four rims there, which are also painted mint green, which is pretty cool. And then here's the base with P19A in the 19th week of 2021 in the A-Factory. It's so pointless to say at the A-Factory every time, like, I should probably stop because there will never be a B-Factory or maybe even a C-Factory. And it also says made in Thailand there, but I can't really see it much. Yeah, I don't think you guys can see it on camera, but... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to pull up every um, Sweet Tea uh, band member here. So, let me do that. Okay, I have every Sweet Tea band member here. I got Robert Jam Jones over here and Pam Wheeldaro, and obviously... The main attraction for this review is Rich Hurry. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it a lot. And hope you guys subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in another video. See you guys.